We're talking about a Merkur, M-E-R-K-U-R, mechanical watch out of China with a stainless link band that originally came on a Casio watch, but the this is the band that came with the watch. Lovely watch band, but I wanted it for that Casio. I feel a black watch is, uh, band is way too heavy for the beautiful salmon nuance and was not the right choice. But this is, and you know why? Take a look at the indices and the hands. They're silver. So, of course, silver's going to work well, and then that makes the salmon color pop. Very nice. Uh, let's take a look online, shall we? Uh, AliExpress. The watch runs between $90 and $100, including shipping. There's their picture of the watch, and, of course, with the black band. I colored the white um, threads black or I don't you can see I went dark brown on the threads I don't like white personally um, and uh, the company Merkur M-E-R-K-U-R pretty well known Chinese company it's a it's a good company and a nice watch and of course again it winds so we're going to talk about some of the characteristics here um, the winding mechanism uh, still has the blue plastic protector. I thought it looked nice and was fun, and it won't last forever, so I just thought I'd leave it on. Um, you can see that the crown, and you may not know what a crown is. A crown is the metal band which goes under the crystal. Okay? It's a rather thin crown, but it's quite nice. And um, of course, if you look at the lugs, when we come in for a close-up, you'll see that they're satin with a brush finish, and it's kind of a circular cut, which is not so easy to see, but it, it, you can see it there. Okay, and then the side of the case is polished stainless steel. Um, I have a seven and a quarter wrist and it fits perfectly. It would also fit, I believe, on smaller as well. Some other specifications. Uh, the crystal is K1 mineral crystal. And you might say, what is mineral crystal. Well, and I'll have you come up and say hi to me now. Uh, the glass or the crystal on a watch could be made of acrylic. That's plexiglass. Uh, and that would be rather soft, but it has the advantage it won't shatter. So for some applications like early Seamasters, Omegas, they were made with a plastic uh, crystal. Then you go to mineral crystal, then mineral K1. And this is mineral K1. So it's got a teeny bit of flexibility on a microscopic level, but it's very, very hard. The only thing harder than this is sapphire crystal, which is almost as hard as a diamond but they're very brittle and will crack, especially when installing a new crystal. If it's not put in just right, they'll crack. But uh, I would say that the color on this is very interesting. Very, very interesting. It's uh, salmon colored, but you can see, as with a lot of nice quality dials, they have a little different look depending on what angle you might look at them for. Um, why a mechanical watch? Good question. 
Well, oh, you want to see it on my wrist. Well, of course you want to see it on my wrist. So let me do that for you. What do I wear at night? A Schema digital. Very inexpensive, but it's a great watch. Easy to read at night. So let's take a look at this watch on. Very beautiful watch. And you'll see again that the stainless steel band definitely brings out a lot of beauty in this watch. How close can I get? I can get pretty close. Isn't that beautiful? Why mechanical movement? By the way, that's very easy to wind this watch. Why mechanical movement? Oh, you like specifications? Let me go over this for you, too. Because you might be somebody who enjoys specifications. Let's see if I can find them for you here. Um... I'm not finding them quickly, so I'm not going to worry about it. You know, the millimeters and all that. Um, I can get them off their website, but not off this. Okay, so uh, why the mechanical movement? There's a lot of reasons that I think. Now, by the way, you can see that rides perfectly on my wrist, doesn't it? You go lug to lug. I still have curvature on my arm past the lug. That's a good fitting. That's a good fit for me. But it could be could be on a smaller wrist. Can you see that you could go probably maybe, you know, maybe uh, like a six and a half inch wrist would be a good fit. And as it gets smaller, you would just find that the band goes down instead of around on the side so much. Why mechanical movement? Well, uh, one reason is um, that a mechanical movement watch, uh, you don't have to buy batteries. Uh, you know, if you have a watch collection, you're going to be replacing batteries every two, three years on all of them. The other thing is, if you've ever had, now by the way, let's see what happens to this in light that's not so good. Maybe a little darker. What does it look like in darker light? Anyway, so one thing is you have to buy batteries. Another one is, what happens when a battery blows in a watch? It ruins it. It's shot. Quartz watches, when the batteries go bad and they open up, and the battery acid spills, they're absolute trash. Can't be repaired. So, uh, that's a big advantage. I personally prefer mechanical wind watches. I haven't had an automatic. Again, that blue on the part that you wind uh, is something that will come off. It's just a plastic piece for shipping, but I like it, so I left it on. You know, a lot of times I wish people would just allow me to see the watch more in a video, but so I'd say mechanical movement's a big plus, you know? And um, if you're looking for a watch and, you know, that's in this price range, I think you'll do well. Now, let just for fun, let's take that black band and I can show you kind of what it would look like. 
that's kind of what the look is with the black band, see, on that watch. But I, it's, see how it makes the whole watch heavier? And I think with a salmon face, personally, I feel that um, I would rather see stainless or an Italian leather, perhaps. I'll show you an Italian leather that I believe would go quite well um, with this watch. Uh, uh, let's see. You can see that that color would do very nicely with the watch as well. A little more Italian-y looking shinier, but it would work very nicely. Just to show you another nuance of color, this is an orange band. And it would also work, but they're too close in color. I think that the other red was more interesting. These are bands for $4.99 on AliExpress. So anyhow, uh, this got here in about uh, two and a half, three weeks, uh, ordered in the United States from AliExpress. Again, the Merkur, M-E-R-K-U-R. I do want you to be aware that there are, there is another model of Mercur that um, is not this watch, but it's close, and it does not have the pie pan here in this area. It's more of a smooth all the way across, and you will do want to be aware that you, if you want this watch, uh, you want to make sure it has the dots, the secondhand dots, and it has the pie pan. The markings at 12, 10, 8, and 6. Oh, by the way, this is an homage. Uh, it's not a copy. It is an homage, which means it is based loosely on a very famous watch, an Omega Seamaster from 1958-59, right around there. It's not identical, but it is evocative, and the reason is it's a tasteful, clean design, as was theirs, and they are somewhat similar. And um, I actually can show you that watch if you'd like. You might enjoy it to actually see that Omega. All right. Now, this is... One of the uh, 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 well, that's an Omega Genevieve. That's not what I want. I want a Seamaster. That's kind of along the lines of it, but I'd say pretty close. It's a 1960. Uh, that's close enough. Okay. Now you might say, David, they're very different. It's true. Now this is not a pie pan. The constellation, actually, there were more, the pie pan was used more on constellations than it was. That's a constellation right there. You could make an argument it's based on a constellation, but there were also Seamasters that had that pie pan as well. I'll see if I can find one for you. Ah, uh, here's a 1958. There's a 1958 Seamaster. That has the triangular indices. Now, the reason that I'm showing you this is that in the world of collectible watches, uh, now this is a gorgeous watch here. This is a 1952 Seamaster. But you can see that while it's not a copy, it is evocative of that watch. They're both beautiful watches. But an Omega Seamaster can be worth $2,500. That's a lot of money. Um, and it is a very collectible watch. Um, I'm, I am personally uh, 
Now this is interesting. This is not a Seamaster. It's just a straight out um, Omega watch, but just the overall impression, I'd say, is somewhat similar. A little ish. Omegas, of course, are either a winding watch or they can be automatics as well. And um, I'm just kind of showing you these because I'm uh, very much an aficionado of uh, Omega Seamaster watches. Um, uh, this is an interesting watch. That's an automatic Seamaster from 1952. You'll notice the indices are kind of similar, aren't they? See how it has the slightly pie pan? And this has the slightly pie pan. But those, it's 9 and 12 that are marked, and this is 10 and 12. See, a little different, um, little different watch. Uh, it doesn't have quite the heaviness uh, in the crown. Uh, I'm saying the uh, Mercure does not. See, it's thinner. It doesn't, it's, it's not really the fat, um, uh, the fat case model. Uh, they have models that are lighter um, in style and uh, that do carry the Seamaster name. Um, let's see if I can find one for you to show you that. Uh, this is a silver Seamaster. And you can see that it is, again, somewhat evocative, although it's lighter looking, much lighter. And then you get into these, see, that's a Seamaster DeVille. And the DeVille is lighter on the edges than um, the other model that's a little heavier on the case and the, um, here's a, that's kind of an interesting watch, isn't it? We'll take a look at that. And that's got this, the second hand and the round thing underneath. But anyway, I don't want to belabor this point uh, in too much, uh, too much detail for you, but I'm just saying that in their own marketing, or other people, what other people say, they'll say it is an homage to a certain extent to an Omega Seamaster, and it's such a highly respected watch. I think it's fun to talk about the Omega. Let's look at the difference in price, though. You can buy a Mercur for under $100. You're going to pay $2,500 for a decent condition Omega Seamaster from the 1950s. 25 times the price, and it's going to need service every two years, where this one won't. You're probably better off getting a new watch versus repairing them, actually. Um, the Chinese market is unique in that the government forced standardization of movements in watches some time ago. So they all have a very good movement. There's several versions of them, but they're government-approved designs. I think it's a beautiful watch in the price range. I highly recommend AliExpress. I think I mentioned to you, I hope I did, that it took about three weeks to get the watch. Anyway, that's the story. The Merkur Mechanical Watch. Available on AliExpress. I'll go back and try and find it for you here. Okay, there's a lot of different ones they have. This is another nice one, by the way. That's a white face. I like it, but it doesn't compare to that. You get it on the website, you'll get a grass cloth band, watch band. I change them anyway. What difference does it make? Anyway, AliExpress. 
three and a half weeks to the United States, two year warranty, and it comes with a super cool impact case that has a space right for the watch and then all your stuff in here that got the certificate in it. it comes with a book that's not in here right now it also comes with this microfiber cloth and uh, it is nice that it I mean this is a case you can keep and use uh, most of the cases you get with watches you're not going to hang on to there's paper things but I like that so the case is nice too it has the look of um, carbon fiber. It's not carbon fiber. But, you know, it, it's a very nice case. And I feel very secure with that being shipped here in the case. Um, I've been very pleased with this watch. And I hope you, uh, you'll consider it as one of your watches. I don't get any considerations from manufacturers at all. Just so you know. That means, I mean, I don't get watches sent to me for free or anything like that. And I don't get any discount because I do these videos.